All right, Joseph, starting on the uh, poll is Daniel Falkingham with a two-minute 9.279 second lap. That's pretty awesome. Anthony Emery uh, in second place. Brad Bothwell comes in third. Aaron Smith fourth. Nate Stewart fifth. Will Klein sixth place. Justin Lizenby seventh. Tyler Ducharme in eighth. Tony Hillbrand's ninth. And Nick Musinek in tenth. Joseph? Spencer Madden will start 11th. Josh Robbins starts 12th. Femi Olat 13th. Sean Williams 14th. Ariadne 15th. Andrew Cardinelli will start 16th. Uh, James Colabali 17th. And who does it show you the next two positions, by the way? Just Justin Gable 18th. Okay, and because mine kind of got messed up. Okay, Justin Gable 18th. Bobby Chaney 19th. And Tom Mercier starts 20th. All right. It's close enough. <laughs> Terrell <laughs> Baker, TCB, starting back in 21st, not taking the qualifying time, so he's got a long road to hoe there. Cody Miller, 22nd. John Barry, 23rd. He's also got a long ways to go. Uh, Scott Shire in 24th. And Keaton Jones rounds out the field in 25th. No signs of Bobby Zielinski, Joseph. I'll tell you what, the guy that really should not be happy about his qualifying is Femi Alad starting 13th. Remember, he comes in here eighth in the points, one point above uh, the cutoff line. He had that, remember, he was battling for the win with Bobby Zelensky last week at Michigan, crashed off turn four, Yeah, and that really hurt him. So he needs to have a good run tonight, or else he's going to have to go to Phoenix, uh, try to maybe most likely win. I mean, he could try to get himself in on points, but he doesn't need a bad run tonight, though. Well, the oh, cars, go ahead. 12 trace, chase drivers in this. Bobby Zelensky, which he did not make it here. that We have not seen him, so uh, he may be out. But Will Klein, John Barry, Justin Lizenby, Bobby Chaney, Anthony Emery, Josh Robin, Femi Lat, Brad Bothwell, Spencer Madden, uh, Sean Williams, and Terrell Baker. Those are your chase drivers coming into tonight. Tonight's going to be kind of a kind of a key race, really, uh, Joseph, because you got to really kind of run well here tonight, and uh, you know that way, if you don't have a good week next week, you know you got a little bit of a buffer. But a, a lot of guys may be banking on that if they don't run good here tonight, they've got next week to try to come back from. Yep, absolutely, of course. This is a difficult racetrack to get around. Got to need to yeah. uh, be perfect for 25 laps. Cannot make any mistakes. And look at this, Rudy. We got cloud cover above the racetrack. Yeah, that I could see probably that. change the grip around as well. It's going to be a long pace lap. Yeah, there yeah, are. there's going to be no full course cautions tonight. It's all just... Right. Uh, uh, it's just only... Uh, like... You know, there's not gonna be full course cautious, so you guys are not gonna see like uh, yellow flags tonight. Um, it's just this only pace lap. This is the only pace lap you're gonna see tonight, and that's just to get this 25 lap race going. But uh, yeah, unless Daniel, there's a big pile up somewhere, you know. That's true. Uh, John did say that if there's you know like a five or six car pile up, you know, somewhere, he said he will throw a caution manually. But other than that, yeah, you're right, no caution. And no resets. <laughs> and you might as well forget about green-white checkers. Uh, usually we have three, but there will be none tonight. This will be a quick race. I, I mean, a quick in the sense that there's not going to be any caution. You know, It's still going to take a while to get 25 laps in here because it's four miles around here. Uh, and they will have to make one pit stop at least. You know, definitely going to have to stop maybe once for tires, I, I would say, and, and fuel, you know, because they, they can't make all 25 laps on a tank of fuel. That's 100 miles. <laughs> when you're turning right and left, boy, that's wearing a lot on the tires, and you're using a lot of fuel going up through the gears. You use a lot of fuel. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you guys for tuning in to Max Speed TV on this Tuesday evening. The second race of the round of 12 is about to get underway. We're road course racing tonight here at Road America, a four-mile road course with 14 turns, 25 laps. And we could 
definitely see some good racing here. I'm definitely watching out for Daniel Falkham, Anthony Emery, and I would say Aaron Smith as well. But you know what? Another driver I watch out for is Brad Bothwell. So we might have four yeah. favorites uh, hey. into tonight. I'm sorry, but Terrell is in in team speak. I didn't know if you knew that. Yeah, I just found out. Okay. So uh, we will get him up here so he could do his yeehaw. But ladies and gentlemen, again, Daniel Falkham and Aaron uh, Anthony Emery on the front row. But can Brad Bothwell pull off the upset? That would be interesting. Yeah. TCB, you got the copy? Yeah, what's up, Joe? What's up, Rudy? Right, How you, you doing, to... Terrell? <laughs> uh, great. Just fantastic. I love this track. Not really. You ready to go road course racing? Of course I am, Joseph. I hope everyone watching Max B T V is too. All right, boys, here we are here at Road America. We're going to do some twist and turns. Can I get a, you know, twist and turn, Elkhorn Lake. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, the green flag is in the air here at Road America. 25 laps. They're heading down into turn number one. Daniel Falkingham with the advantage over Anthony Emery. But we... Man, looked like Brad Bothwell was good. Oh, oh and Daniel! Daniel Falkham went wide off the corner, and there goes Anthony Emery for the lead. Now here comes Brad Bothwell challenging uh, Falkham for the second spot. After Falkham went wide going off turn number one, Anthony Emery is gone. Oh, and Brad got a little bit loose, too, and he's going to drop about three positions. Oh, man, here comes Aaron Smith into third. Wow, a wild start already to this uh, race. Aaron Smith has moved up to third. Falky in the second. And the Emory up to lead. Look at them piling in. And somebody, I believe that oh. was Spencer Madden, just rear-ended the back of Tony Hillbrand. Of course, oh, we got another one. Ariadne. Back there, Tom Mercier involved. I can't even get to him. Man, he's moving so slow here. Oh, my gosh. Look at the oh, damage and, on that. And T Terrell Baker, Shaw Williams went off the track. Oh my gosh, these guys are really driving hard right now. Terrell's already got nose damage on that car. What the heck, Terrell? Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, what, just everybody is all over the place checking up. Everybody's sliding into the corners and, you know, people are just trying to stop. And just, you know, everybody's just, it's just these chain reaction wrecks happening. Oh I mean, my Bucky gosh. Went wide off turn one. You had Sean Williams and himself go off the racetrack. And then uh, Ariadne and Tony, uh, Tom Mercy, I should say. And, of course, Spencer Madden ran right in the back of Tony Hillbrands going into the one in the corner. So we have a couple of chase drivers, even Sean Williams. So we have three chase drivers already with troubles on lap one. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'll tell you what. Good news for Anthony Emery. He might not have got the three bonus points for the pole position, but I do believe he is going to lead the first lap and get that bonus point anyhow. All that, right, let's. That's really odd that, I mean, Falkingham actually drove it into turn one a little bit too hard there, I think. He might have been getting a lot of pressure, but I, I really didn't see the pressure. I tell you what, we do complete lap one, and thankfully we do. Now, hopefully, things can calm down just a little bit. Effie Emery yeah. does lead the first lap, get that bonus point. Falkingham closing back in on Anthony Emery. Tell you what, Tyler Ducharme has moved up to third. He started eighth in this race yeah. and he's already up to third he's doing a good job except he just made a little mistake in that corner but not, nothing too serious yeah uh, yeah don't count out tyler i mean i kind of i actually i kind of forgot about him being in here tonight i picked aaron smith for the win but aaron uh oh and man he may have made oh. a pass on oh, oh contact aaron smith sliding into the corner oh they're making oh, the, both of them make contact Whoa. again and oh, we got and a crash back there. Tony Hillbrand's going into the corner, has uh -oh. hit the wall, has spun and hit the wall. It does. I don't know how hard he hit the wall. He looks like he's getting back going, but he's going to drop a lot of positions. So, man, a lot of these drivers, Rudy, just having wow. trouble early on. Aaron Smith actually dropped back to the fifth spot. Justin Lysby has moved up to the fourth spot now. Yeah, those two were beating and banging off of each other and trying to get that one position. And it uh, looks like Lyson B did, he did win that battle, though. I don't think Aaron Smith's too awful happy about that, but because uh, that was a, that was some pretty rough playing right there. I mean, Rudy, it's 25 laps. I'm surprised how aggressive we're seeing these yeah. drivers go right now. Oh, Aaron right now. Smith just about went off the track right there. Yeah, I, I man, wow. I, I, 
I relax a little bit. Just give it a couple laps. Just settle no in. Kidding. Uh, get the get the handling. Let your car get the feeling of the car. See how it's going to handle oh. it. Then I'd be aggressive. Oh, and Brad Bothwell goes off the yeah, racetrack. Nate, Nate Stewart just drove right into the bra back of Brad Bothwell. My goodness, yeah. Oh, my. my. Ah, uh, there's going to be a, an upset driver right there. I know I'd be upset if I was Brad Bothwell. Nate just actually just plowed right into him and going into the corner. It's that, lap two. We're we yeah. just complete lap two. I'm just I can't believe how aggressive these drivers are being right now. Like no I just I just take a few laps just to sell in, get the get the feel of the car, and then once you know the feel of the car, then try to. Uh, be aggressive, but man, these guys, I, tell you, I mean, this Nork, we like to see aggressive racing, but it's a little too much right now. I know who we're missing. Jared Darling. Where the heck is Jared Darling at? He's in the chat right now. I know. Well, that's not a good place to be. You can't win races in chat. <laughs> I got to pick on him. I tell you what, Daniel Falkiam is right there with Anthony I know Emery. I and I tell you what, Anthony Emery does want to win this race back because remember, Anthony Emery was running third on the last lap last week. Got oh. collected in that wreck with uh, Femi Olat. Had a yep. terrible finish. It dropped him to six in, in the playoffs. So he needs a good run tonight. But if he gets the win tonight, he locks himself into the round of A and doesn't have to worry about Phoenix. Well, he's looking pretty good here. I know, I know Daniel, he might be kind of taking it easy right now, but... It's going to be difficult to pass, and I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to get by Anthony Emery without a good battle. You know, he's not just going to give it to you, especially Daniel Falkingham, because he knows that Daniel gets ahead of him, he's just going to he's going to be gone. You know, so right now Anthony Emery's struggling with a car that uh, unsure of here what you know what's going to happen, but this is going to be a good battle if it, if it comes to fruition. This will be a good battle. I tell you what, who's made some moves early on. He's back in the 10th spot and looking for more, looking for ninth. How about John Barry? Oh, yeah. He started back in 21st. Look at him passing oh, Josh yeah. Robin for ninth. Yeah. Very good. He goes in. Oh, oh and, goes and off, off the track. Oh. And he hits the tire barrier just a little bit. Oh, that's going to hurt. Oh, John, please. I mean, picked off a lot of spots, but golly, man, that's a that's a good way to blow them spots right there. <laughs> you know, he'll be all well, right. That's gonna that's gonna drop him back to the twelfth spot. But yeah, John Barry looked like Dang. he was he was picking up a lot of spots early on until that. But I mean, what he's still in twelfth. He still picked up a lot of spots, but it's crazy. Oh, we have two cars off the racetrack in the very back. Scott Shire and James Coulibaly, both of them in the gravel trap. Oh yeah! They both came back going. I, man, I tell you what, guys, <laughs> really, yeah. they're all over the place. I know it. I know it. Well, I was getting back up here, back up to Spencer Madden. Now he is back in the 11th. One of the chase drivers. This is going to be a, a pretty important race for him. He is. Um, he's just outside that cutoff line of making it into the round of of eight. Okay, in two weeks. Which, I don't know, that might wind up to be three because I heard through the grapevine or I seen it on their Facebook page, they may be having a specialty race next week. Hmm. Yeah, I seen it on their Facebook page. Man, I tell you what, this bout for third is ending up. Look at just Lightspeed and Aaron Smith close in on the Tyler Ducharme. It's a pretty oh. tight between these three drivers. Yeah. Most definitely, yeah. Uh, Aaron's got it back together now. He's, he's, uh, he's ready to rock and roll now. I, yeah, I, I mean, hope there isn't going to be any retaliation there between him and Lizenby because you know Lizenby kind of they played a little roughhouse oh, there for a bit. The oh right. man! No, that was between him and uh, Tyler Ducharme. So hopefully, oh, whoa! Wow! Look at this, Rudy. Oh, <laughs> oh Tyler, Ducharme! Hang on. Boy, he drove oh, it in there, there too goes. deep. Oh, and Lysenby goes around as well. Oh my gosh! Wow, oh, how things goodness. change so quick, huh? And look at oh, Will Klein coming up through here. Yeah, Will Klein up to the fifth spot right now. Yeah, him and Brad Bothwell both. And I tell you what, and he's about to go for fourth. He's about to pass Lysenby. I tell you what, Lysenby, that was a close call for him. He yeah. hits that wall, he could be done. 
I mean, he's in the playoffs right now. He's fourth in points. He doesn't need a bad night as well. But how about Will Klein? Started six. He's up to fourth, so he's moved up a couple spots. And Brad, Brad Brothrow coming back into the picture. Yeah, he's uh, he just he's trying to get by Lizenby here, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to now. Now that uh, Lizenby's got the dirt cleaned off them tires, uh, he might be uh, he might be all right now. But boy, he's he's licking his wounds right now. I can tell you that. Right. That was I'm a close gonna... call. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. This is probably one of the craziest uh, first few laps that I've ever seen in a North race out on a road course. Maybe that or maybe even beats the Ovals as well. I mean, I don't think I've seen the first few laps of a North race this crazy. Yeah. Well, that uh, contact there between Justin Lazenby and Tyler Ducharme, Tyler took his car behind the wall. I mean, he hit that tire barrier pretty good. I'm not yep. sure what Tyler Ducharme was doing. I mean, I don't what? know. Coming off that corner, he was sideways. He was trying to gather up. It seemed like he was just trying to gather up the entire straightaway. I know. And then he just threw it in there, almost took Liza B out. So, well, I, Femi Olat's making his way closer to the front here, but uh, he just lost the spot right there to Josh Robin. Whoa. Yeah, Femi Olat just not having the kind of race I expect him to have. Yeah, I mean, I don't, he, yeah. does not, he does not need this kind of race. I mean, it's still early on. Maybe. Maybe, Rudy, he could be saving some stuff right now. Oh, yeah. Just, and then maybe once these guys have him, wears out his tires, maybe then he can uh, try to get back up to him. But, uh, yeah, I mean, not the kind of performance I expect Femi a lot to have right now. Now, yeah, how about Spencer? Go ahead. He's, he's slipping and sliding there. Now, Spencer Madden behind him. Uh, Spencer had that contact with Tony Hillbrands on the first lap. He's uh, back in the 11th spot. Matt Spencer outside the cutoff as well, saying 10th in points. He needs to uh, pick up the pace here as well, or else he's going to have to go into Phoenix to try to get in on points. Well, how about Anthony Emery having a 2.2 second lead over Daniel Falkingham? Man, that's pretty a pretty impressive run right there. Yeah, so far so good. Uh, he's he's had a smooth race so far. Hasn't really made any mistakes. I'm not, and, you know, again, I said it in the pre-race show, Anthony Emery, he's been consistent all season long. Does Won the regular season championship, but does not have a win. Well, he looks like he has the speed tonight that could get his first win of the season and could lock himself into the round of eight. Yes, sir. Well... Yeah, oh, and Aaron Smith, wow, he drew, he went in really far right and made that turn. So uh, he, I think he's struggling with tires right now. I, I, and the boy, it's early for that, <laughs> you know, really <laughs> early. That's what I that's what I said in like the first yeah. few laps. It's like what if these guys are just all over the place being way too aggressive. It's like it's kind of early for that guy. <laughs> so like settle in a little bit. But they've used up their tires already. Just you know, in five laps, they wow, they've destroyed the the tires. Ah, but we love to see these guys slip and slide around. It's yeah, a lot of fun. No. But man, I tell you what, some guys have definitely overdone it. Will Klein moving up through the field here, picking up a couple positions. Justin Lizenby picking up two positions. Brad Bothwell practice. He's said he practiced all week long there, so. Uh, but he started third, back to sixth. Now, after the beginning of that race was kind of, kind of shaky on a, on a restart for that race or on the start of that race, but uh, he's still in good shape, though. He needs a great finisher. Like you said uh, at the beginning of the race, he needs a, a top five finish or something. A win would lock him in, but you know, he needs a top five anyhow. I don't think he's any match for Anthony Emery up there. Yeah, right now the top five is three playoff drivers. Uh, Effie Emery, uh, Will Klein, and Justin Lysby. Of course, Brad Bothwell back in six. John Barry ninth, Femi Olat tenth. So you have six drivers in the top ten, that are playoff drivers. So, uh, But you got a few others that's outside the top ten and even some outside the top 15 not having good runs uh, tonight right now, and that's not going to look good for them. TCB in 16th. Uh, a little while ago, uh, him and Sean Williams were battling for that position, but Sean got back around him. But now TCB's got company here with uh, Tom Mercier putting the pressure on him. Oh, 
contact oh, oh, between oh, oh, oh. them two. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh, and then there's more contact. TCB paid him back. Uh, my <laughs> goodness. Oh, Nick Musonix is slowed up ahead. I don't know what happened to him there. Yeah, he's having issues oh. right now. We got a battle for the 12th spot up ahead. Actually, three-car battle. Uh, Bobby Cheney, Sean Williams, Keen Jones, they're battling here. Sean Williams looking to the inside of Cheney. Let's oh, see. See. oh man. Cheney slides off. Oh, oh he did not need that. Oh, man, just barely missed the tire barrier. He did not need that. Good save, but, man, that cost him yeah, dearly on the track. And it, oh, and Tony Hillbrands had to hit the brakes there. And that's another playoff driver, Bobby Cheney. Yeah. Is there any playoff driver, maybe besides Anthony Emery, that has not got off the course I, yet, Rudy? I, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been pretty wild. I can say that, man. Well, let's see if uh, um, let's be Terrell Baker, Bobby Cheney, trying to see who as who else is in here. Well. Uh, Bobby Zelensky's not here, so I guess we can count him, him out. But Will Klein, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if he's been off track or or yet yet or not. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I I just don't. Uh, I, it's like at this point, it's like who hasn't been off the course? You know I know. What I mean? it. And it's like I'm surprised any of these drivers still have tires on their cars. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here comes Brad Bothwell making a move on Justin Lightspeed. This is for the top five spot. Why is it be going backwards? Yeah, his car's not acting the same after him and uh, Tyler Ducharme made contact there. His car's just not, I don't think there was any damage. It was just, uh, they kind of just like, you know, slid together there. I, I don't see any damage on it that's, uh, you know, noticeable, but his car just hasn't been the same. Brad, and man, he, look at yep. the look at that. Brad's all over him right now. Here he goes. He's going to go for the pass. Yeah, this is for the top five spot. And you talked to him before the race. He he practiced a lot. Oh, oh he touches that dirt a little bit. Yep. Don't do that. Can't oh, do that. Oh man, he that touched that him. sand a little bit. Once you get dirt on them tires, boy, they don't have any grip for a little bit. Got to run them a little bit to get that dirt off of them. That the cost him a lot. The only way you can avoid that is just to not drive into it. Yep. That's basically what he did. He was just trying to make a pass on Lysby. Went a little bit too wide and touched that uh, that sand. And it just got him out of shape and off the course a little. Well, look at, the damage on, time. look at the damage on Nate Stewart's front end there. That's where he got into the back of... Um, uh, Brad Bothwell. Brad Bothwell, yeah. Oh, my gosh, man. he That really smashed that front end up. Wow. And John Back. Barry now up to eighth place after starting 23rd. Holy smoke. And John Barry comes in here third in the point, so he needs to make sure that he has a good cushion for next week's race. Uh, sure. Femi Olat has uh, started 13th. He's rebounded. He, remember, he dropped outside the top 10 again. He got up to the top 10 and then dropped out of it, and now he's got himself back up at the top 10. He got around Josh Robin just not too long ago. Well, folks, if you're just joining us, the leader, Anthony Emery, with a 2.7 second lead over Daniel Falkingham, and he has led all the laps so far. So Anthony Emery trying to lock himself in to uh, the next round, the round of eight, which will be in a couple of weeks. Lies to be. Closing in on Will Klein for that uh, fourth spot. Why is it be? Uh, it looks like Will's going to give it oh, to him. Yep, he just gave it to him. Yeah, that, he's like, "All right, you can have it for well, now." Some, yeah, sometimes you're better off doing that rather than racing somebody really hard and wearing your tires out. Will <laughs> might be he might be getting kind of edgy right now with the tires, so he might have just said, "You know, look, go ahead. I'm going to save what I got because we're not pitting for a little while." You know, I mean. They're probably not going to pit for about another five lap. <laughs> you know, some drivers likes to give and take, but I guess that just depends on who you're racing against. <laughs> you know, Will Klein, he'll give and take early on. He doesn't really force the issue, so you can always trust him to uh, let you go. But some drivers, like I said, it just depends. And 
Brad Bothwell's right there with Will Klein. He may be looking to try to get into that top five again on Will Klein this time. You tried it with uh, Justin Lisenby uh, just a couple of laps ago, about a lap ago, and uh, just quite couldn't get there and got off the track a little bit, drove it into, I forget what that corner is, but uh, that one corner is a really sharp left-hander and went off the track a little bit, cost him dearly in time. But uh, he has made a rebound here back up on the back of uh, Will Klein now. So this will be interesting. i tell you what, Daniel Falkham is closing in a little bit on Anthony Emery. He was almost three seconds yeah. back. Now he's about almost two seconds. So maybe Falkham was trying to save a little bit of something right now. I know these guys got a pit very soon, but um, but Falkham seems to be closing in right now. Now, of course... Uh, I meant to mention this earlier, of course, uh, if Anthony Emery does lock himself into the round of eight, he doesn't have to worry about Phoenix, but right. it all starts a new round in a couple weeks, starting off at Atlanta, and then it goes to Darlington and Daytona. So there's three unique, different style of racing, yeah. different types of tracks. That is going to be fun to watch. That round, I feel, is going to be a lot of fun. We still oh, yeah. got to get through tonight and Phoenix next week. Yeah, that is going to be, the round of eight is going to be a blast. I like that he threw a super speedway in there in the chase. That really, you know, it kind of gives somebody a chance that maybe uh, back an eighth in points to gain yeah. a few positions. You know, if uh, the leader would have a, the point leader would have a bad day or something, it, it kind of, it, it throws a wild card in there for, for somebody that don't normally get a win or something, you know, at, at a, a normal oval and they go to a super speedway like that. It, it, anybody shoot match at a super speedway. Oh, trouble. Uh, Justin Lysby almost spun, and he's going to lose two spots to uh, oh, Will boy. Klein and uh, Brad Bothwell, but yep. Lysby almost went around. Let me see if I can catch this here. I'll try to see if we can't uh, see what happened here to Justin Lysby. Was there any contact with him and uh, Will Klein? Let's see what happens here. Is he, they come down Go. through the short shoot here. Yeah, they're going down the hill. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh he locked Ooh. him up. Yeah, locked he got him up right there, there. Got in there way too hot. He tried to lock it up to slow it down and almost wow. spun it. He had a good save right there. And thankfully, Will Klein, Brad Bothwell did not make contact with him. Yep. But that's going to cost Lightspeed two spots. But he's not too far back. He could probably chase him back down. But those tires oh, yeah. probably hurt him. Yeah, good wreck avoidance there by Will Klein and Brad Bothwell. I mean, that could have been a lot worse than it was, you know? <laughs> Indeed. Very good. Well, Aaron Smith, third place. And he is 3.8 seconds behind Falkingham. And Falkingham has fallen to over three seconds now behind wow. Anthony Emery. Yeah, it looked like he was gaining on Anthony Emery. Yeah. Whoa, look at him slide into the corner. Oh, oh he's there he is. Off. Oh, no. Fucking him, buddy. Man. Smith is closing in. Oh, look at this. And he's going to get, he might get second. He, oh, I don't know. Maybe oh, not. Oh, him not giving up the spot. No, he's not. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that just helps Anthony Emery out even more. Oh, yeah. Now he's seven and a half seconds. They're back. Holy smokes. Anthony Emery, honestly, right now, he could just cruise right now, not try to force any issues. He's got a big enough gap to do that. But here comes Aaron Smith. But, nope, Joseph, Anthony yeah. Anthony is a racer. Oh, He's not going to – he is not going to just cruise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what we've seen so far in this race, Rudy, I don't think anybody's cruising. <laughs> no, I think everybody's just hammered down the whole Ooh. way they've been. Oh, Battle Brad fourth. Bothwell. Brad Bothwell just yeah. throws it into the corner, gets by Will Klein. Awesome job. Way to go, Brad. Man, he is on a mission here to have a top and, five finish. And he needs to because he's, yes. out, he's outside the cutoff. He needs to have a good run, maybe try to get into that top eight in points so he can at least have something to have, like, some advantage right. for next week's race at Phoenix. But I guarantee you, if he practiced a lot for this race, you know he's going to try to practice a lot for next week's race. Well, look at the guys that uh, he is ahead of now that are, are ahead of him in the points. He's ahead of Femi Olat, Josh Robin, uh, Bobby Chaney, 
Justin Lisenby and Will Klein, John Barry. He's ahead. It, and, of course, Bobby Zielinski not being here. So this could be a very, very interesting and very pointful day for Brad Bothwell today. I tell you what, he's just... He just had a good rookie season, you know, in Newark. Yeah. And uh, I guarantee you, the more we see out of Brad Bothwell, the more experience he gets, we could definitely see him a winner eventually in the Newark Series, get that win. And who knows, he, he could grab a few wins and maybe have a run for a championship in, uh, in future seasons. Oh, heck yeah. No doubt in my mind. He's that good of a driver, you know. I mean, he has really improved a lot since, uh, since he's been over here. I mean, just, you know, I, I've known brad from another league that he was in i think he was in sra i think and i think he ran in your league too didn't he He ran a few races in my league and he did pretty good there but i I, like i said i i feel he's gonna do sure amazing things uh in this league and once he gets a little more experience racing with these guys he's gonna be a guy to watch out for well lies and be uh but he has not been able to close back up on Will Klein. I don't know. I think he's just waiting to get through the round of pit stop here. And they should be coming up here in the next couple of laps. I think we might see some of the guys come in. Now, they were, there may be a chance that some guys may not come in right away. They might just stay out. You know, you take guys like Anthony Emery. He might just stay out for a while. BNC does have an eight-second lead over second place. Uh, he might just stay out for a couple more extra laps or so, but eventually he will have to come in. Well, Anthony Emery leading all the laps so far. Man, this is this is one heck of an impressive run for him. A great qualifying effort, too. Qualified second. I mean, we thought he was going to hang on to the pole, and that would have been three <laughs> bonus points. Oh, gosh. Well... The three bonus points won't matter if he ends up getting the win tonight. I'll lock True. him into the next round. But, yeah, I mean, just in case, that three bonus points could be could have yeah. uh, helped him out a lot. But right now, I don't think he needs those three bonus points. Oh, Falky almost spun off the la- uh, one of the corners. He is driving it super hard right now. I don't just to stay. I guess it must be like a rivalry thing be, between him and Aaron Smith. I think. And, and Aaron Smith's and, coming to pit road. All right. Yeah. And uh, Anthony Emery is down pit road as well. Oh yeah. Okay. So the yeah. Well, Falkingham's going to stay out. He's going to lead a lap though. I don't know why he's not in the chase, but that's all right. Just to say he led one. But yeah, Falkingham or. Uh, Anthony Emery and Aaron Smith, and then we got somebody else coming off the pit Brad road Bo- there. Brad, Brad Bothwell, Will Klein, Liza B. Yeah. We got a lot of guys uh, that have stopped here. Very interesting. Very good. Well, I just put John Barry just past these guys up. And John Barry just went into second. So when is he going to make his pit stop? Anthony Emery comes off a of pit road. He'll be third now. Which he'll be back in the lead once Daniel Falkingham and John Barry pit. Now the thing, my question is, they pitted maybe a lap earlier than than they should have. Maybe, I, or well, I'm not sure. Well, anyhow, they should be able to make it the rest of the way on fuel. Yeah, so far, uh, Daniel Falkiem, John Barry has stayed out on the racetrack. Everybody else have come down pit road. Uh, actually, Nick Musnick did uh, stay out as well. So is Keen Jones. So we yeah. did have a couple other drivers that did uh, did stay out. But definitely we'll probably see them come in in the next lap. But Falkiem does lead that last lap. But I feel him and John Barry, I would say John Barry should come down pit road in this next lap. All right, let's see if Daniel comes in. And this might be such a thing, too. If uh, John Barry might have stayed out waiting for Daniel to come to pit road. And John tried to lead a lap. Yeah, here goes Falkingham. Oh, in, so. we got a crash. Uh-oh. Uh, Tony Hilp- oh, no, it looks like he got back going. Tony okay. Hilper has just had another incident. Uh, well, yeah, Fal- 
Go ahead. John Barry's back. He's going to be back quite a ways. I don't know if he's going to get up there in time to lead this, lead a lap. No, I get know a because point. the Emery's right there. Look <laughs> <Okay>. at <laughs> He's going to make sure he yeah. does it. John wants to lead a lap and oh, get a bonus man. point. Oh. But, uh, Ooh, he, he's he coming in the pit right, road. He can. No, yep. he's coming in. All right. He's not risking it. Yeah. <laughs> it oh, looked Falking. like he, he wanted to. Yeah. Falking him. Yeah. He knew that car was just too out of shape, you know. But here comes Anthony Emery to reclaim the lead. And wow, what a lead he's going to have, too. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be huge. Huge. <laughs> Trump says huge. Aaron Smith just went into second. And he's made his pit stop already. Falkingham's right behind him now. Just coming off a of pit road. And, you know, the thing of it is with them brand new tires on these things, though, they do have to wait about a lap to get some heat build up in them. Uh, you know, they're a little, they're a little, they want to kind of slide around a little bit and skate around a little bit on cold tires. So you definitely, Buckingham's got to kind of baby this car for a lap here to get some heat build up in it. And once that, once he gets some heat build up in them tires, you might see a challenge for that second place on Aaron Smith. I don't know. Yeah, indeed. Uh, yeah, Aaron Smith did beat Falkingham. Uh right now. Of course, uh, Aaron Smith did have the fresher tires uh, for a lap. So yeah. I would not be surprised if we see Daniel Falkingham chase him back down. But I think Aaron Smith is going to race him hard, too, once he does yeah. get back up to Aaron. Well, I just think these guys are 8.6 seconds behind Anthony Emery. What a dominating performance today for Anthony Emery. And right now, I do believe... Uh, if he comes around this time, I do believe, no, he'll have to go one more lap after this one to clinch the most laps oh. led. Fuck him. Oh man. What a save. He went off the course and was sliding off the course. I tell you what, we've seen fuck him do that a couple other yeah. times. Just goes wide on the exit of the corners and just slides. But as I was saying, not only will, you know, he come out of, uh, out of here with the most laps led and win the race which will be big. Uh, that'll kind of make up that deficit that he had for not getting the pole that Daniel took from him. So that it could be a good points night for uh, Anthony Emery tonight. John Barry, ninth place for John. After making that pit stop, he, he's, uh, he's actually fallen back to ninth now, but still a great run. Started 23rd and running in ninth. That's pretty... Oh, Femi Olad off the field. Oh, oh, man. Femi. And there goes John. John drove by. And Josh Robbins about yep. to drive by him. Oh, my. Yeah, I don't... Uh, here comes Tom Mercier. Tom's going to try to make a challenge on him. Something's wrong with Femi's car. I don't know what's going on. That, that car is all over the place. Oh, and Mercier loses oh, it. Oh, no. Whoa. And he hit. just towed the pit road. Oh, yeah. man. I mean, he's, he had a lot of damage right there. There's no yep. way he was going to be able to compete. My goodness. Oh, man. A lot happened right oh, there. It, and we'll <laughs> climb off the course a little bit as well. He gets it gathered up. But, man, it just seems like these guys on fresher tires, it seems to go off the course a lot. Uh, yeah, I, oh, I agree. they're all over the place. I, I mean, man, Rudy, this is, this is crazy. It's like I they're all it. over the place. Well, let's see if the temperature. Yeah, well, the track temperature's up to 90. But, well, you know, the, I know these guys like it wrecking loose, but, you know, probably if we got over 100 degrees on the track, it would, I could say that, you know, they would get their wish and have it wrecking loose. But a 90 really is, is still kind of cool. Now, they do have a nine mile an hour wind. I, w I wonder if the wind's having anything to do with that. Are you still there, Joseph? Yep. Oh, Aaron oh. Smith is off the course. Oh, oh, oh. no. And, and there, there goes, goes Falkingham. Oh, 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 oh. I swear, every driver I switch to, I see them off the course. Right I know. 
Oh, my goodness. Well, we got 10 laps to go, Rudy, oh, here man. at uh, Road America. And Anthony Emery now has a 10.6-second lead. I know. That is crazy. He, he just needs to cruise. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, you know, don't I wouldn't cruise too lightly because you know how, how Falkingham can sneak up on you. You know, I know that's 10 seconds, but, uh, you know, you think about it, 10 seconds really isn't a whole long ways when it takes over two minutes to go around this track. Aaron Smith probably upset at himself now for making that that mistake on that corner, but uh, he might be able to recuperate from that. But, you know, still uh, making up uh, making up a little bit there, but he uh, did start fourth, running in third right now. So, And I that was my pick to win, too. Joseph, Aaron Smith. Yeah, but he, he's been struggling with his car as well. So is Falkingham. Honestly, both of them. I'm surprised how much, how many struggles we've seen between the two. I mean, I'm not surprised to see Anthony Emery dominating a, with a fast car, but Anthony Emery's just been smooth all race long, just getting around these corners just fine. But, yeah, Falkingham and Aaron Smith are just struggling more than I thought they would. I mean, I, hopefully, I don't. It's kind of surprising to me. Yeah, well. Don't count out, you know, Anthony Emery having a mistake. I mean, it can happen. You know, I mean, we've seen the best of drivers have make mistakes, and and it, you know, that could, Falkingham could chop into that time. Now he must have just had a, a mistake right there that we didn't see, because Falkingham gained over a half a second on him. Unless unless Anthony heard you about. Taking it easy. <laughs> he probably did. You know, I, I mean, know. I don't see why he has to push the issue. He's got a nine and a half second lead. Yeah. Just take it easy in these final nine laps. There's True. no need for it. I'd rather, you know, I'd rather them catch me a little bit more than, you know, just pushing it, go off the course and could lose your chances at making yeah. the next round because of a mistake. So just take it easy. Hey, got... Benjamin Miles in chat. Hey, Ben, how you doing? Cybertron. And Jared Darling. Yeah, Jared's in the, he's in there, but he's in chat, but he's not in a race. There's something wrong with that, Jared. Hawking <laughs> him. And he, he's got, he's still hanging about 3.2 seconds ahead of Aaron Smith right now. And Brad Bothwell. Brad Bothwell can't shake Will Klein. What a run for Brad today, though. You know, we say this a lot, Joseph. Practice, practice, practice. And he said he has turned a lot of miles here on Road America this week practicing. So oh, it's absolutely. showing. Oh, absolutely. He's just done a fantastic job. Spring and forth. I know he's made a couple of little mistakes as well, but yep. nonetheless, a top five run for him uh, could really help him out in the points uh, going in the next week's race because he had a terrible race last week at uh, Michigan. Got involved in one uh, one of the early accidents, and so he's just trying to recover as many points as he can. And so far, he's he's definitely showing that he can. So, be interesting to see how many uh, how many pra uh, how much time he's going to practice and uh, at Phoenix and see how he can perform out there. But like I said earlier, I feel he's the guy to watch out for in the next coming yeah. races or even next season. And Nick Musinex takes his car behind the wall. Well, that just moved uh, Terrell Baker now up to 15th. And he is a long ways from 14th. I don't know. Terrell may not be able to make up any more positions because uh, Bobby Cheney is uh, 23 seconds ahead of them. So those guys pretty much clear sailing for them. But Bobby picking up uh, five positions since the start of the race. He, it's another one. He needs to have a decent finish today just to try to stay inside the top eight. You don't know what's going to happen next week at Phoenix. You know, sure, we've seen these guys <laughs> go green the whole way, but hey, Phoenix oh, I, is I, Phoenix. I, I, I don't see it going green all the way no. uh, in a playoff race. Yeah, maybe in a regular season race like we did last season, but yeah. not in a playoff situation, especially when it's the cutoff race. No question we're going to see some cautions uh, next week and probably see some aggressive driving. 
But, uh, I mean, hopefully we don't see too much of it. I want to see some good racing, and you definitely don't want to see too many of the playoff drivers getting in trouble next week. Right. Well, we got a lot of uh, a lot of chase drivers running mid-pack right now. Spencer Madden, uh, Sean Williams, Bobby Cheney, and Terrell Baker. Those guys running about mid-pack right now. We've got a lot of non-chase drivers that are up in the front. And that is like Daniel Falkingham, Aaron Smith, uh, Nate Stewart, Femi Alat, or I'm sorry, not Femi Alat, Keaton Jones. You know, we got a lot of non-chase drivers running inside uh, the top 11 right now. Well, I'll tell you what, Spencer Madden is all over Keaton Jones back here for 11th place. Man. Yeah, right now, King Jones sitting 11th. Got Spencer Madden not too far behind him, but, man, Spencer Madden not really having the run he should have either because, what, he needs – what, he's outside the cutoff line. So I feel him and yeah. Sean Williams too. I mean, not the performance we expect them to see. Bobby Chaney back to 14th, Terrell Baker 15th. And TCB, honestly, at this point – he needs to win next week's race if he wants to make it into the round of eight. I think it's a must-win yeah. situation for sure. Yep. So, as much as he's struggling here tonight, yeah, that next week at Phoenix, he, he's going to have to win to make it in. Uh, and mathematically, I just don't think that he would be able to make up all the points that he's lost here today. You know, he, he just he's 62 points out coming into today. And of course, that's going to change a little bit with Zelensky not being here. You know that that'll that's going to chop that down a little bit. Zelensky will probably lose the lead because he didn't. Well, he's out of the he's out of the chase anyhow, right? I I I have to see the rules, but I thought uh, the rules was uh, what I heard last week. If even if you're locked into the next round uh, already with the win, but you don't start uh, the other races, uh, then you're still mathematically. Uh, uh, eliminated and stuff yeah. so I have to double check on that rule but that's what I heard but honestly we don't know how many more races Bobby Zelensky would be running anyways because right. you know he's dealing with the Coca-Cola series so he might not be able to make uh, even if he was locked into the round of eight he might not be able to make those other races so it's yep. like I guess what's the point of get, like having a playoff spot when you're not going to be able to race over. So might as well just give that opportunity to somebody else. So it's a shame because we know Bobby Zelensky is a very great driver. It would be yeah. pretty cool to see him maybe win a championship this season, but we'll just have to see. Yeah. Know? I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see what uh, John's going to do about that next week. Because if, uh, if that knocks Bobby Zelensky out, is he going to bring maybe the, the guy that was in 13th in the points into the top 12 and take Bobby out. If, if that is the rule that if you don't make a playoff race, you can't, I, I mean, I would think that if you don't make a playoff race, you're not in, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. If you don't make, if you don't get, if you don't make a start in the playoffs, when you're in, you're pretty much automatically eliminated. Right. That, I mean, I think that's a good rule to have. I mean, I hate to see Bobby taken out like that, but, you know, his priorities are with the Coca-Cola series, not here. You know, sure, he liked to win this championship, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, that, that series is much more important than this right now. Well, Falkingham still hanging on to a 10.8 second lead. So he has closed a little bit on Anthony Emery, maybe a couple of tenths, but not much. It's not enough. Anthony Emery is just in cruise mode right now. Oh, next time by, it will be five laps to go, whereas yeah. six laps to go. And he still has a, almost 11 second lead. Actually, now an 11 second lead. So it's like, are you sure he's cruising? Or he's still pushing. I think he's yeah. pushing it. I think he's still giving it all he's got, but he's just been really smooth about it. Yep. I mean, if you, if you break early, it, it, that's the thing I learned about road courses. If you, if you let off and break early, you can get back into gas a lot quicker coming off the corners, you know? But you still got to kind of play with the gas a little bit. You still because if you just nail it, that back end could come around. If you're still into the turn, it can come around on you. So he's doing an amazing job driving this. Absolutely flawless. 
Andrew Cardinelli, uh, even though he is five laps down, uh, he is still on the track. And this time by, I do believe, we'll pick up a position uh, from Nick Musinek. James Koulibaly, two laps down in 20th. So he's dropped. Cody Miller, we haven't talked about Cody today. Oh, my God. Look yeah. at that car. Yeah, that look thing's... at that car. Yeah, he's been off the course quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> quite a bit, which... Honestly, with Cody Miller, not surprised to see that. You know, he just always off the course as yep. well. I've seen, honestly, Rudy, uh, while throughout this race, I've been seeing a lot of drivers just going off the course. Like, I know I've seen uh, uh, Tom Mercy a couple times. I've seen Tony Obras a couple times. Cody Miller several times. Uh, James Coulibaly, Andrew Carnelli several times. It's just some drivers are just not meant for road course races, but yet they're still out here. <laughs> Uh, trying to gather as many positions yep. and many points as they can, but <laughs> you know for a fact you can tell who are who can handle road courses and who can't. So, and even TCB, he's sliding off the course right now too. <laughs> he, he, I've seen him off the course several times, but yeah. these guys are still out there. Just I guarantee you, some of them are just having a, a good time at this point. Well, picking up five positions since or six positions, excuse me, since the start of the race, not bad for TCB with all that damage and that happened on like what lap one or two i can't oh and he just spun again coming off of the oh. sharp left hander he's going to get it going again but oh my gosh and he's going to lose a spot to ariati and there goes the leader by anthony emery just put terrell baker a lap down wow he's about to put ariati a lap down Ari gives him lots of room and doesn't battle with the leader. So good job. So 14 drivers left on the lead lap. Who's going to be the next one? Bobby Cheney will be the next one to go a lap down. Bobby's trying to trying to stay on the lead lap here, I'm sure. And now it doesn't look like we see we see too many battles well the closest battle i see right now is probably for that uh uh that uh ninth spot with femi Olad, josh robin that's the closest one i see oh and they stewart hard into the tire barrier he's stuck inside the tire barrier and he is gonna have to uh start like tow it and man he was what running in sixth or seventh at the time he was running seventh at the time oh he man just smashed right into the tire barrier like oh my gosh he just went right wow Let's go back and take a look at it here and see if we can see what happened. Oh, did he, wow. Did he just get back in the throttle too quick or what? Um, but, yeah, you just watched the replay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. This race. Oh, man. What I, the I, heck was he doing over I, there? I, I, I'm telling you, Rudy, <laughs> I don't know what these guys are doing at this point. <laughs> oh, man, he never even lifted. I Boom. Just switched, it's crazy because I just switched over to him. All of a sudden, I just see a car go flying off the course. Dang. That was a hard hit. Yeah, every now and then, Rudy, I'm just switching to different drivers to see how they're yeah. doing. And, man, I, I saw that live. It caught me by surprise. <laughs> You never. This is, this is one of these series that you just never know what you're gonna expect, and that's north for you. Yep. You expect the unexpected sometimes. Well, knowing that Anthony's not really, I think he might be kind of taking it easy, but Falkingham has oh, and, dropped another couple of a uh, couple seconds. But Falkingham, wow, what what's the matter? No, I, I thought I saw Femi uh, wreck too, but he's fine. I I was uh, I just switched over to him, and I thought he was going to wreck. He slid going into one of the corners, but he gathered it up. Yeah, these guys are, man, they're all slipping and sliding <laughs> around here. Oh, my gosh. I'm I, telling honestly, you. Honestly, I mean, uh, some of these guys got to have a good time. I, yep. I, I would hope so, but, man. Now, big move for Keaton Jones, non-chase driver, but coming from 25th to 10th. That's an impressive run. He started dead last on the field. That's impressive. Now Spencer Madden in 11th. He needed this. That's right where he started, but he needed, he needs a good finish. And Sean Williams, Sean right now, he, he's, if he doesn't 
finish well here today, he is going to really have to buckle down next week at Phoenix. Well, we're coming to three laps to go this time yeah. by here at Road America. And, Rudy, the only smoothest driver in the field is Anthony Emery. I know it. Probably the, <laughs> probably the only driver that I see that's very smooth out there. 13.8 second lead as he crosses My the goodness. line and takes three to go. He is just, he's got this track down, that's for sure. He has just been nice and smooth. Not make I'm not making any mistakes. The times I have seen him, yep, hasn't lost any time at all. He's just either like I said, it seems like he's uh giving the all all he's got, even though there's no reason for it. 14 and a half second lead. But we got this battle for second closing in. I mean, Daniel Falkham and Aaron Smith, they're they're kind of close to each other. These guys get battled it out for second uh by the time the checker flag falls. Yeah, they're oh man and Daniel just had a moment there, almost got an off off track right there, but that that was just enough to let uh, Aaron Smith close up on him. Watching these guys right now, I'm riding on board with Aaron Smith as they come into the sharp left hander here. That long oh, back Lysby straight away is off the course. Sorry, I Uh-oh. just wanted to point that out a little bit. Lies be running yep. six, got off the course. Yeah, another chase driver needs needs to have a. A decent finish here today. Now, if Anthony Emery clinches the win and the most laps led, he will pass up uh, Bobby Chaney and Justin Lisenby and will probably be in the fourth place. And if he gets a win, he's locked in. Locked into the next round. That will make Anthony Emery really happy, locking himself into the next round. Oh, yeah, for sure, because it looked like he was in good position to have a top three finish last week. Got involved in that wreck off turn four, coming to check a flag, just fell him down in the points. So this would definitely help him out for sure. Definitely should build up his confidence for the round of eight. And he right. could still go to Phoenix next week, try to uh, take that opportunity away for anybody else to lock themselves into the round of base so he can still go out there and win as well but oh look at this battle for second here we go Aaron Smith has closed in on Falkingham well now I got another question for you thinking about oh, this and up ahead watch out sorry Rudy we're up ahead yep. I'm just waiting for oh look at them Terrell Baker and Tony Hillbrands both of the, those guys made contact went off the course and I was just wondering how Falkingham and Aaron Smith was going to get by it they get by it safely if Bobby Zielinski won last week, that locked him into the next round. Did it even matter that he didn't race this week? Two laps to go. Did you Did you hear what I said? Yeah, I did. I, I mean, I, I, it's going to be. I, I can't wait to see what this is going to shake out to be. Who's going to be, uh, uh, you know, going in into the next round because. If Bobby's not here and did not start the playoff race, but won last week, locking him into the next round. And if he didn't show up, oh, Terrell Baker and Tony Hillbrand off the track. These guys are messing with each other because I was watching them again, too. And and Tony Hillbrand just threw TCB off the course. I guess TCB (laughs) got back at him. I think those two are having a good time right now. Yeah, well, they were battling for position there, too. So, man, I'll tell you, where can Brad Bothwell up behind Terrell Baker now? Still a fourth-place finish for him. And Terrell's off the track. He lets Brad Bothwell go by. Two laps yeah, Brad, to go. Yeah, and Anthony Emery just pulling away again. 18 seconds, but I'm watching this battle for a second because it is heating up between yep. Falkingham and Aaron Smith. What can Aaron Smith do to get up to Falkingham and get around him? But, yeah, again, just good run for some of the playoff drivers and some for not that they need to go to Phoenix to really perform well. But we're coming to the white flag, Rudy. Yes, sir. Anthony Emery will be coming up the hill here in just a minute to uh, take that white flag. will be one more to go. And that will give him 23 laps that he has led out of the 25, folks. Very dominating performance by him today. Yep, up the hill, about to cross the start finish line. One lap to go. A dominating performance for uh, Anthony Emery as he takes the yeah, white flag. Yeah, he's giving us a little nose shake there. Yeah, he yeah. did. There, I love that. <laughs> yes, sir. 
Oh, he's got to be just jumping up and down for joy. Don't make yep. any mistakes now, I, Anthony. <laughs> I was just about to say, don't don't celebrate yet, you know, because could still yep. make mistakes. We've seen in the past, so we don't need Anthony Emery to get over too confident. I mean, he could cruise around here in second or third gear in some of them some of them short shoots, you know, instead of have to really drop the hammer with a almost a almost a 19 second lead now over Falkingham. And how's that battle going? Boy, I'll tell you what, Aaron Smith is all over the back of Falkingham. Interesting battle going on there. Neither one of them a chase driver. Neither one of them's got anything to worry about. All they can do is just race each other for, for position. And, uh, oh, I tell you what, Femi Alat went off the course. Sean Williams is going to oh. get around him. So Femi Alat continues to struggle. Femi Alat. He needs to have a good run next week at Phoenix if he wants to make the yep. run of Bay. And remember, Femi Lott, he's a two he's a two time defending champion. Not yeah. like a two time champion, but he's won the championship the last two seasons. So right. really needs to pick it up. But how about Anthony Emery, a back up front? Man, just continues to just be as smooth as he can be around this road course. Oh yeah, he's got this in the bag of it, it's it's up to him to lose it now. He's got he's got to just a couple more corners to go here. A couple of key corners, actually. If he can get through these next couple of corners, he's pretty much got it home free. But, man, what a run for Anthony Look Emery today. Here he comes. Last couple of corners. Yes. Turn 13. And he's about to hit turn 14. The very last corner. Anthony Emery getting redemption this week at Road America after a terrible performance last week at Michigan. Off the last corner, Anthony Emery dominates here at Road America. Yeah! And the good news is he punches his ticket into the round of fate with the win today at Road America. Wow, big congratulations. As he's giving us a congratulatory wave right there. Thank you, Anthony Emery. And folks, we will get these guys up here just a and minute and talk to them, so stay with us. And it looks like Daniel Falkingham is going to hold off Aaron Smith for second. Aaron Smith will come home third. Brad Bothwell fourth and will climb fifth. Anthony Emery with the big win tonight here at Road America. And the good news is he has punched his ticket into the round of eight with the win tonight. Anthony, Domine performance, you just destroyed the field pretty much. Tell us about your car and tell us about your race overall. Yeah, um, I, I'm, I got tired of losing. Um, I'm, I'm, I ha I'm tired of not winning in this league. So when it comes to this track where you're in control of your destiny, um, I wasn't gonna lose, and so um, yeah, that was the gameplay going in. And I was—I I made a pact that I wasn't gonna get beat by mistakes; that I was just gonna be consistent and I was gonna win me the race. And I feel like it did. So um, yeah, the, the everything worked out uh, pretty well. Um, I made a move in the first turn that got me the lead. I was a little annoyed that I didn't get the pole to get the track position early, but it worked out. Um, and I, I kind of just was able to run my own pace and um, just you know, I just ran my race. Yeah, your first win of the season, which is surprising to me because you've been very consistent all season long, had shots to win, but you said yourself you got tired of losing and you were definitely determined today. I mean, the performance you had was just incredible, and this should bring you some more momentum going into the round of A. Of course, you got Phoenix next week, which, of course, you can still go out there and make sure these other drivers don't lock themselves in into the round of eight uh so what do you think about phoenix next week uh should be an interesting race i'm i'm very excited for that track as well i love that place um you know it's with this low downforce package it's going to make it even better you're going to be able to move around i think a little bit more um and uh yeah I'm, I'm really excited for that one too and um hopefully it's bringing me some momentum here these last two weeks have really been tough uh, you know kansas that was a really annoying michigan a uh, top whatever five all race in the last corner i get hit and go to 20 something 
So uh, yeah, we're we're gonna try to turn it around here and uh, make a run towards the ship. Well, Joseph, I got a quick question I wanted to ask Anthony if he can answer it. I don't know. Maybe he can't answer that. Uh, but we were talking about Bobby Zelinsky. He said he was going to start and park tonight, and he did not show up. Did not start and park. Does that eliminate him from the round of uh, twelve? I think that's a question for John Barry. Okay. Um, okay. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to okay. do about that. Um, all right. He, I know he wasn't going to be able to race because he, he, you know, he's got peak and all. He races um, that. So obviously, you know, when you're in peak, that takes priority over right. over you know right. regular league. But you know, uh, I don't think it's that hard to start and park to retain your spot. So I don't know what he's going to do about that. We'll just have to see. All right. Well, Anthony, congrats on the win tonight. Is there anybody you got to thank for this win? Yeah. Thanks to uh, John Barry for the league, all the all the work he puts in. Um, thanks to everybody who showed up. Um, yeah, shout out to um, to Daniel and Aaron. Uh, good racing with all, with uh, them at the front. Um, and shout out to you guys for broadcasting. Everybody watching. It was uh, it was fun. All right, Anthony. Well, congrats on the win tonight, and congrats on being into the round of eight. Go out there at Phoenix and try to give it all you got. Go after their win. Best of luck to you next week in Phoenix, and of course uh, after Phoenix, good luck in the round of eight. All right, thank you. Daniel Falkham comes home second. He started on pole, but Daniel, I tell you what, it didn't look like it was easy for you or Aaron Smith being in second and third. It seemed like you both kind of struggled tonight. So what was going on, uh, and what was the issue getting around this racetrack? Because it seemed like at times you just went off the course, went wide. So did you have any troubles with the handling of the car, it seems like? After five laps, because I always burn off the tires, it seems like no matter where we go, unfortunately, but... Uh, yeah, felt good to get the pole, so I thought we were gonna get a race there, and then, and then my, and then me being the bot that I am, decided to blow turn one, and then Emery gets by me. We were able to hang with them there for a little bit, and then I decided to over, to miss the braking zone of turn three, so we decided to nearly spin out there, and then we decided to spin out at turn one for like two laps later. So I did about every single thing that I should have done tonight, but, uh, hey, right, we still got a P2, I kind of tried to be the, uh, be the spoiler of the North playoff drivers tonight since we're not running for the ship or anything, but I mean, it was still a good race. We still had a decent race. I always feel, I always feel confident coming to these road courses, so we still had a decent race. Had a good battle there with Aaron because uh, he kind of handed it to me a few laps after the pit stop, and then he, I almost threw it away when I was going off track myself as well. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't very, wasn't a pretty race, but uh, at least we still got on the podium. All right, well, you guys are going to Phoenix next week. What do you think about that race over there? I'm looking forward to Phoenix. Phoenix is one of my best tracks, too, like Emery said. And especially, like, with Emery said, with the low downforce package, it will, it's definitely going to definitely gonna really be suited towards the driver, make, being, being really a lot of part of, you know, how to drive the car, you know. And especially going to be a lot. I feel like it's going to be pretty loose to drive next week, too. So we're going to especially take care of the right rear a lot. I definitely learned this in another league I ran, Sim 500. So I uh, definitely got a little, definitely learned a little bit for Phoenix next week, but I'm looking forward to it. And uh, hopefully we have a few options to be able to write, run different lanes in Phoenix, but I don't see we are going to have a lot of options just because with this tire and dynamic track, don't mix. But uh, we'll see what happens next week, but overall, I'm looking forward to it. All right. Well, is there anybody you got to thank for your second place tonight? I just got to thank John Barry for the league, as always. Got to thank you guys for broadcasting. Got to thank TZB Motorsports for bringing me a pretty good card to the racetrack this weekend. And uh, also got to thank uh, all the fans who come out and watch us each and every week. All right, Daniel. Well, good job on second place tonight. Uh, tonight. Best of luck to you next week at Phoenix. Appreciate it, Joe. Aaron Smith comes home third. Aaron, it seemed like you was also struggling with the track tonight as well, especially after the tires were cooked and stuff. So, uh, But still good third place to finish overall. Uh, tell us about your race. Well, uh, I'm not really sure what to tell you. I mean, the tire pressures were really low on this setup that we ran here. It was the uh, Watkins Glen baseline, so we were uh, we had good handling in the beginning of the run. But once the tires heated up, it was uh, it was like driving on an ice rink. It was uh, pretty bad. But uh, other than that, we had a pretty good race, and uh, we were able to get a good uh, finish out of it. All right, now you guys are going to uh, Phoenix next week. What about what do you think about that race over there? I don't know. I'm not in the points anymore after Bristol, so uh, I don't really have anything to lose. I'll 
probably run towards the front there if I feel like it, but uh, if not, I'll just run around like I usually do and get a pretty good, pretty good finish out of it. All right, Aaron, was well, there anybody you got to thank for your third place tonight? Yeah, I'd like to thank Unreal Esports for sponsoring this car and uh, y'all for broadcasting and everyone for watching. And uh, we'll probably be back next week. All right, well, Aaron, uh, good job tonight on third. Best of luck to you next week at Phoenix. All righty, thank you. All right, Joseph, let's run down through the final results here. Anthony Emery punching his ticket into the next round, but next week he's got Phoenix to go through. He can kind of relax a little bit. I wouldn't relax too much. Got to keep your, your speed up a little <laughs> bit, but congratulations to him for, for grabbing the win here tonight. Dominating performance, leading all but a couple of laps. That's pretty pretty amazing. Uh, Daniel Falkingham second. Aaron Smith, third. Brad Bothwell with a great finish. He needed that finish to try to keep himself alive here going into next week at Phoenix. And hopefully he does some more practicing for next week. Uh, Will Klein, fifth place for him. Justin Lizenby, sixth. John Barry with a good finish, seventh. Josh Robin in eighth. Uh, Keaton Jones, ninth. And Spencer Madden, tenth. Joseph? Sean Williams will end up 11th. Femi Alat, 12th. Bobby Cheney, 13th. Ariadne, 14th. 14th, the first car a lap down. So we had 13 cars finished on the lead lap. Uh, Tony Hillbrand's 15th, Terrell Baker 16th, Scott Shire 17th, Cody Miller 18th, James Koulibaly 19th, and Nate Stewart rounds up the top 20. Rudy? All right, Nick Musinex finishes 21st, Andrew Cardinelli 22nd, Tom Mercier 23rd, Tyler Ducharme. Man, he was looking like he was going to have a good run here today, but uh, with that contact, there, him and Justin Lizenby getting together. <laughs> that was just a, a synchronized spin there on the backstretch. And and, and I I think Tyler got damaged, but Justin Lizenby didn't get a bit of damage on that. So, But uh, he will finish 24th. And Justin Gable, I, I don't think he even started. No, he did not even start the race. All right, well, congratulations again to our winner here tonight. Uh, Anthony Emery needed that win, locking himself into the next round. But off to Phoenix next week, Joseph. And man, what a race here tonight this was. No cautions, everything on the line. And Anthony said he was tired of losing. He was going to come out of here with a win. Man, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, Anthony Emery just dominated tonight. And I'm not surprised. We've seen speed from him before at road courses in the past. So he was definitely one of the favorites to come in here tonight. Uh, but that definitely got to feel good for him, you know, going into Phoenix and, of course, going into the round of A with some more confidence. And uh, to finally get that win out of the way this season is pretty good. But, you know, he still got – I mean, even though he can relax a little bit next week, uh, he still wants to go out there and try to do the best he can and try to maybe get the win out there and try to take another playoff driver's chances, chances away from making the round of eight. So, but right. yeah, Phoenix is going to be very interesting. You know, I know last season we went caution free for that race, but that was a playoff race. This is going to be a playoff race. Not only that, but a cutoff race. Yeah. So there's going to be some aggressiveness. There could, there's going to be some drama and we get to find out next week. Who's going to be, we already know Anthony Emery is in, but who's going to be the other drivers that can make the round of eight and who's going right. to be the four drivers eliminated. All right. Well, thank you, Joseph, for the help tonight. Appreciate that very much. And folks, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to uh, click the little bell there next to it and give us a like on the video if you wouldn't mind. And folks, we'll be back next week here at Phoenix with these guys, but uh, stay tuned for that. And uh, thanks for watching again, and we'll catch you next time. So stay safe and have a good night.